all right welcome to machine is made today we're going to be doing a little bit of fiberglass repair bought this stuff off the uh the old amazon bondo glass this body is uh some really nasty old fiberglass from a uh komatsu mini x it's got a well Somebody's went at it a time or two and uh, done a little bit of damage or some gouges in it down here. And this is where the, the fuel filler neck is. It's it's broke out pretty good. And uh, there's the hydraulic on the other side. But there's uh, there's more cracking. Some cracking right there. I'll focus. More cracking right there around that bolt hole and a little bit of cracking right there. A little cracking in that corner. We're going to go at all these today and see if we can kind of remedy the problems. Some more uh, area of uh, improvement. This is the engine cover for the actual back of the machine. There's hinges under here and whatever this was. Uh, so we're going to try to go at it, fill some of them holes, grind some of these rivets. Now they had a plate on top of here, I guess, to help reinforce it. So we're going to go at that today and see what we can do. I'm going to get the old Milwaukee M18 grinder out here and clean up these grooves. From what I understand, you're supposed to clean these grooves out pretty good and then uh, go back and kind of rough up around it and figure out how to mix that stuff. Well, <clears throat> that was dusty. We got the areas cleared out. I'm gonna do a little bit of a trick right here where these uh, cracks stop. I'm actually gonna drill a hole there so uh, they don't persist. May just break that off, I don't know. But uh, same thing down here, found this little little gem right here when I was cleaning up, there was just a groove right here, but that's fun. This corner ended up uh, breaking out on me a fair bit more than I, I wanted it to. Sorry for the crap flying around in the air. That is uh, <laughs> fiberglass dust. Probably should be wearing a mask, but uh, yeah, safety third. Let me go get my drill and drill some holes right quick. All right, got my drill. We're going to uh, drill a hole right there. That's gonna stop the uh, crack from running. This is uh, not really a machinist trick or anybody else trick. This is just a kind of a common sense trick. Drill two. Got a couple more down here to do. Let me get a little shot of that. Whoa! Well, that stuff's fun to do with one hand. I'll tell you what. Crack runs up by right there. All right. And there ain't nothing to drill out over here. This whole corner is just busted out, so I'll have to do some fixing in there. Somebody went at it once before, so a little piece back in there and the rivets. We'll get all that covered up and uh, strengthened up and go from there. See how mixing this hardener goes in a second to get this can open. All right, again, this is bondo glass by bondo company i guess this is a this is a quart can if i'm not mistaken now this stuff is uh really smelly smells like uh really strong super glue so i would recommend well ventilated area and i've actually worked with this stuff once before and it's uh, quite nasty. Nasty and goopy. It's short strand of fiberglass in there. So, yeah, I'm going to need to put this phone down for a second and get this all mixed up. But now that we've got that mixed up fairly good, uh, you'll notice the consistency doesn't really change, but the color does. It goes from, like, truly really dark, goopy green. It's a little bit lighter. Not really that much lighter. Now, I'm going to be mixing this on just an old piece of MDF. And uh, I prefer using wood over paper simply because paper likes to tear and get wet and all that good stuff. So what I'm going to do, I don't really have 
that much area to fix but i'm gonna get a little bit out <laughs> when i said a little bit um yep gonna put this phone down again give me just one second well i tell you how much fun that was oh. i'll close this can back up a little bit and a little tappy tap tap slide that off to the side now so now this fiberglass is one is a two-part mixture the second part being this uh, hardener right here that comes with the kit pull this uh, little cap off and this hardener is blue other hardeners I've worked with like red so the instructions say for about a three inch ball whatever you want to take that for supposed to use about three inches of red of hardener so uh we'll call that good now it's a cold day so i've got a little bit of time to work with this stuff sorry about my big fat hand being in the way so i've got a little bit of time to work with this stuff start mixing it now the whole idea of this is this needs to be a uniform color if you would I don't know if it's really going to change colors a whole lot, but it will change colors some. Get my sleeve pulled up. I really don't want this on my clothes, and my wife would probably really appreciate it if it didn't end up in the laundry room, especially in her washer and dryer. I want to make sure that hardener is mixed in. And I guess you really can't use too much hardener. I guess you could. I guess it'd just make it go all faster. I'm just scraping that up off that board. This is another reason why I like uh, working off of a wood surface versus working off of a uh, piece of cardboard or paper. Get this all mixed together. That's pretty uniform. Get you a little closer shot there so you can see there ain't no more blue streaks or anything like that. Now, I like to use a putty knife that's preferably not covered in fiberglass dust but you know sometimes you don't get that take a little bit sling it up on your putty like that and just kind of smear the stuff around it's, it's honestly not rocket science <laughs> smear it in make sure it's covering what you need it to cover and uh honestly just go from there there's a little bit of dust on this thing still Just a small dust cloud, if you would. It's not really that bad. I would prefer you, uh, you know, if you're going to do this, to probably have a little more clean surface than I do. But uh, this isn't going to be perfect. It's not designed to be perfect for me. I'm going to end up sanding all this down anyway. So I can actually feel it trying to set up. So I'm gonna put this phone down and I'll be back when uh when I get this little little patch right here smeared out. Alright, and just like that, you smear it out kind of like uh cake frosting, if you would. And uh, this stuff was already starting to try to set up as I was finishing up, so I didn't get a whole lot of good uh good footage on uh smearing this stuff around. I got everything kind of filled out the way that I wanted. Um, I'm not worried about smearing it back over some of the painted areas because that's obviously what I'm going to sand back down to. So I'm not particularly worried about those areas. But uh, yeah, this side of the panel, I didn't notice till just a minute ago. I got a crack down here that I will have to fix. But you know, other than that, this side of the panels will be done. You know, all the cracks that was right in this area are now gone. So that's uh, that's progress. Let me know what you think. Uh, leave you leave a comment, like, subscribe. Uh, I'll do a follow up probably as a short on uh, what this actually comes out like after I get after it dries and gets sanded. I'll probably just let it sit the rest of the day and kind of come back tomorrow and see what it looks like after it's uh, cured and sanded out. How about that? And if it fails, you know I'll make a short about that too. Matter of fact, if it fails, I might make an entire video of me. Uh, scraping this crap off and doing it again but in the meantime hope you enjoy your uh let's see this is january 1st hope you enjoy uh the first of the year this year welcome to 2023 and uh like subscribe comment 
and uh i'll probably leave a link to uh that bondo glass stuff down below i've got an amazon affiliate link um uh, and just disclosure uh anything you purchase through that link obviously any affiliate link you've probably heard it a thousand times we get a small commission off that it kind of helps build this uh growing channel anyways have a good one fellas